Hey. How's everyone going? Doing. Living. Life. You know, we live our lives every day trying to follow the word of God, the Bible. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. Yeah. You realize the first three of Bible. Basic instructions before uh, basic instructions before leaving life. Whatever attorney or something like that. Basic though, basic, basic. So what does basic mean? Well, let me boil that down. Basic, basically telling us how we should live life, how we should treat others, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Basic instructions, basic. So don't live your life just based off the book based off the Bible, how about you live your life coming up with new ideas, exploring life, enjoying life, seeing what there is out there, not getting set on your nine to five, not getting set on your normal life, not just being comfortable. How about spreading the word? How about Helping other people. How about just enjoying life? Going out. Going to see a waterfall. Going to see the ocean. Going to see, you know, every day when you see the sky, just thank God. And how beautiful he is. Hmm? The Bible. is just the basic instructions. That's all it is. Can you fit God into a book? No. When Jesus Christ was even on this planet, planet, he said, I speak to you in parables. Because I speak of heavenly things you will not understand. So therefore, I speak in parables. If he spoke about heavenly things, we would not understand at all. <laughs> so stop conforming your life to a book, to the Bible. The Bible is a basic instructions about how you're supposed to treat people, what you're supposed to do for God, or you're supposed to do this and that. But we're supposed to strive for more. We're supposed to do more. We're supposed to go out there and help each other and rescue other people. From their trials and tribulations, from their lives, from their way of life, and try to make them a better person. Which I've done for one person. I've done for one person. I'm not gonna name them. And I try to do for another person, but I succeed. As of for now, I don't know, maybe it'll succeed someday in the future. Maybe it'll change. We'll see. And even another person. But, I don't know. I don't care about my life. I don't care where I'm at. I just care about everybody else. Like I told my mother today. I will go to hell. For all eternity. And damnation. For all of humanity. Rapists. Child molesters. This and that. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Let them go to heaven instead of me. But I am sick and tired of life. I do hate this world. And those that hate this world are accepted in heaven. This world, we only worry about ourselves. We only worry about, hmm, what am I doing tomorrow? How am I going to make money? How am I going to do this and that? Blah, 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 blah. Social media, this and that, da, 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 da. 
Like, really? Really? Stop worrying about yourself and start worrying about other people. Stop worrying about what you're going to do in this life. And why don't you worry about your eternity? This life is nothing but a speck to internal existence. So don't worry about what you're doing right now. Even though the present is important. The past, you look back to, you learn your lessons, you try to do better, you look towards your future, this is what you want to do, but this is where you're at in the present. But even screw the present. How about eternity? Do you want to be in hell? Or do you want to be in heaven? I, personally, want to be in hell for all of you and everybody. I don't care. For all eternity. But that's not the point. The point is, stop worrying about your little trials and tribulations. Stop worrying about your little insignificant, stupid shit that you go through every single day. Really? It don't mean nothing to eternity. So like I said, the Bible, you read scripture, you follow scripture, you do this and that. It's just a book. Can you put our God into a book? No. And bring up other stuff and this and that, which I will bring up one thing. There's like over 120 books that aren't even put into the book because the Catholic Church and this and that. There's so many things that have been mistranslated and this and that. How about you just feel what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do? How about you just feel what is right and wrong? A conscious. That's what God gave us. Free will and a conscious. A conscious being of knowing what is right and wrong. Follow it. Along with the Holy Spirit. The spirit of knowledge. Who tells you what to do? Who says what you should do every day? You know, I used to think... I would love to have a notepad that God magically writes on it every day and tells me what to do, you know. But I do have that. So the Holy Spirit. I just need to learn to follow it more. You know? There's things I've done in the past that I regret. Do I feel guilt for it? No, because I ask for forgiveness. There's things that God has done in the past, ruined plenty of God's talents that he gave me, plenty of God's gifts they gave me but I still live every day I still breathe this breath of eternal life I will go to heaven and I hope to meet all of you in heaven and once we meet in heaven we'll look back to this life and be like I read the Bible. I did this and that. I could have done so much more. But everything is to God's plan anyways. So really. Read scripture. Obey scripture. But don't dwell on it. Don't base your religion or what you believe on the book or the Bible. I'm talking about every time I say the book. God wants us to have ideas. God wants us to strive beyond that. And God is so much more than the Bible. So therefore, be just like me, one of God's warriors, and do so much more than what the Bible tells you to do. With that, God bless have a great existence and see you next video.